morning again. It's Rich um, down here at the once famous tide pool in Shaw's Cove. Um, I'm going to show you right now that it's uh, been totally devastated by the waves that have came in for the last uh, however long it's been. Well, the worst one was Tuesday that I saw. It completely swept the rocks clean of all life. Uh, marine life. Hopefully they're still alive and out in the ocean somewhere. Uh, but the shellfish are, are not in the ocean. The shellfish are nothing but broken shells laying all around the all, the, all around the beach. Most of them, of course, have been swept out into the water. But there's still many pockets of the broken shells. I showed you at Crescent Bay. Hopefully go back over there when I get some light and uh, get it again. So. Anyway, uh, let me show you uh, what's going on here. As you can see, I'm walking out here. These tide pools here had used to have tens of thousands of black mussels and crabs and lobsters and every possible marine animal you can think of. There's still a few crabs around, but I see, oh, there's a couple of really, really small mussels I can see still down in the water there, but all the big ones, uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa, baby. A little bit of high surf here, folks. Um, all the black bustles have been swept away, it looks like. It's, the tide's starting to come up, so it's, even though the light is better, it's still a little bit difficult to see. But you can see from this angle that there's virtually no black mussels anywhere on these rocks when just a few weeks ago or a month ago maybe there was tens of thousands of them possibly millions they were everywhere here there was crabs there was uh, fish there was lobsters there was every marine creature that you could find was in these tide pools right here I think that's pretty well documented, but you know, I don't know for sure. But uh, there's got to be before and before pictures of them. They they're basically were world famous for their beauty. And unfortunately now, there is not a single thing alive on these rocks. You know, I don't see a, uh, I don't see a black mussel, I don't see a crab, I don't see a, I don't see anything. I see a couple of little, there was a couple of little pockets over here of the mussels. Now right here there's a few. You know, just a, a very few of them left. I'm not going to be able to get on focus on that, so. That's the biggest one I've seen right there, and that's only about an inch and a half. A couple of sea anemones, a couple of little bitty, you know, uh, pockets of mussels. But who knows if they're going to survive. But all the big ones, everything that was big and live and, and beautiful looking, have all basically been swept away. By the, uh, it wasn't that it was that big of a surf. It just looked like it would just hit at the exact angle that it needed to to strip away all the sea life. Oh, here's a couple. There's a few mussels still there. I don't know. Little bitty pocket, maybe half inch or something. You know, right there. 
But when you're talking about an, an ecosystem that had tens of thousands of black mussels all over these rocks, it's just, uh, it's just incredible. So, quite a scene of devastation here. No fish, no crabs. Uh, even the barnacles are gone, it looks like. They got some lichen. A couple of little pockets of black mussels still hanging on here. Right in here. But these are going to have to have some really stringent protection by somebody. Or, uh, you know, if, the, <laughs> if somebody comes by and acts like a predator and takes these little things, you know, there's not going to be anything left. They're just tiny, tiny little pockets of black mussel still, still alive on the rocks. I'm sure it'll come back at some point. It's just a question of how long it's going to take it to come back and if the fish populations are going to be you know, are going to be affected in the meantime. I'm trying to get a declared a state disaster area, but I, you can imagine uh, how far I've got with that. I did actually mention it to the city manager down there, um, and uh, he, you know, he said he would consider it. So uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, that was Mr. Petigue, the uh, Petigue from the uh, Laguna Beach City Manager's Office. They've been working with me pretty regularly. I've seen them every day since the, uh, the biggest event that I know of was Tuesday. And uh, they've, been down, they've been working well with me. Uh, I've been appreciating their assistance. And I'm working with uh, Mr. Fryman with the Marine Protection Agency, and he's been great. And I've been down to the police department and, uh, you know, they've been helpful. And I appreciate all the help I can get on this situation. It's just, uh, it's just an incredible scene of devastation that's, uh, that looks like it's been repeated up and down the coast. You know, and uh, I know Crescent Bay is bad. And Main Beach, Hessler Park is completely stripped away. But, uh, there's some out here. There's still there's still a few hanging on here. Uh, so hopefully it'll all come back at some point. But uh, I think the city of Laguna Beach should do all that it can to uh, to facilitate that comeback and to help with the uh, 